News 46 is brought to you by Smitty's Cards and Coins. Would you like to know what your collectibles are worth? Come by 2281 Postal Road, Unit 4, across from the post office. News is also brought to you by J.K. Nelson Law. Call 727-9900 today for your free consultation. If you need a lawyer, you need Nelson. Tonight on News 46, tigers and monkeys are found at a home on Man's Road. An earthquake drill is held all over the state. And as the economy rebounds, new businesses are popping up in town. News 46 starts now. You're watching KPVM News 46 with Deanna O'Donnell. And Unet Gentry. News 46, local coverage you can count on. Good evening, it's Tuesday, November 15th, 2016. I'm Deanna O'Donnell. And I'm Unette Gentry for News 46. Trisha Meyer has been taken into custody for a warrant out of Texas, but the new resident to Pahrump may be facing other charges. 34-year-old Trisha Meyer has been arrested at a residence on Mann's Road here in Pahrump after a neighbor complained that they saw three tigers in her yard eating raw chicken being fed to them by a teenager. Meyer, who just moved to Pahrump from Texas, had an extraditable warrant from Harris County for burglary and or theft, according to the Nye County Sheriff's Office. On November 3rd, a female identifying herself as Trisha Meyer called the Nye County Sheriff's Office dispatch to request that animal control contact her to provide information on obtaining a permit to possess tigers within Nye County's jurisdiction. On Saturday, November 5th at approximately 5 p.m., Las Vegas Animal Control advised Nye County that Trisha Meyer was believed to be en route to Pahrump with a U-Haul trailer possibly containing illegal animals, including three tigers. It was also brought to the attention of the Nye County Sheriff's deputies that Trisha Meyer had a felony arrest warrant out of Harris County, Texas. Animal control officers met with Miss Meyer in Pahrump and confirmed at that time that she did not have any animals on the property. Myers was advised of the process for obtaining a special conditions animal permit. Myers states that the animals were still currently in Texas at that time. She was advised that it would be illegal for them to be in Nye County prior to being permitted. After the neighbor called police stating that he witnessed the tigers in the backyard, deputies were dispatched to the home and located three tigers loose contained by a four-foot field fence with a 17-year-old juvenile in the backyard supervising the tigers while they were feeding on raw chicken. There were eight monkeys inside the residence, none of which were regulated in Nye County requiring special permits. Trisha Meyer was arrested on the Texas warrant and the three tigers and monkeys were taken into protective custody. At no time was any been attacked by the Tigers, and Nye County Sheriff's Office is not aware of any instance where the Tigers were aggressive towards anyone. Houston police also had contact with Meyer after alleging finding exotic and dangerous animals at her Houston area home in September. Houston Police Department officers said they were sent to investigate Trisha Meyer's home after she tried selling a kitten to a man in California for $3,000 but never gave him the kitten after receiving the money. When officers arrived at the home, they found several wild animals all roaming freely inside Meyer's home, including three tigers, a cougar, a skunk, and a fox. They also said Meyer's 14-year-old daughter was inside the home during that time. Meyer also told Houston police that she had several monkeys, which can be vicious, and had attacked someone previously. News 46 spoke to a friend and landlord today who said that the tigers were declawed and that the two children have grown up with various exotic pets and are very comfortable with handling them. The tigers are several months old and also told News 46 that Meyer is a good person who is going the legal route to own the animals but had a warrant for the disputed sale of an animal in Houston. He also believes that the main reason she was arrested was the warrant. The animals, he said, are friendly and used to him. Humans. Right now, Trisha Meyer has not been charged with anything except for the warrant arrest out of Harris County, Texas. This is Deanna O'Donnell for News 46. 
During this week, a massive drill called Vigilant Guard 17 has been taking place. The drill assumes that a very large earthquake will take place in the Las Vegas Valley, followed the next day by an even bigger earthquake in the Los Angeles Basin. The drill involves two states, three FEMA search and rescue teams, California and Nevada National Guard, and emergency management offices throughout the region. Today, we caught up with Vance Payne from Nye County Emergency Management. Uh, we are doing a, a drill, a national drill, part of a national drill called Vigilant Guard 17. Uh, we've been planning this for a year now. The purpose of the drill is to test and exercise um, different emergency response components and to try some things that we've never really planned for. We started off starting on Monday, yesterday. Um, that's when the real event started and we had a second earthquake, notionally, in Los Angeles and it was even bigger with lots of damage. So starting today and going over the next two days, the idea is we have um, we have crews from the FEMA USAR teams who are doing practicing, and they're actually doing that out near uh, in North Las Vegas near the Speedway. They're practicing uh, search and rescue and uh, the movement of heavy equipment. On our side of the deal, we have major communications issues that we want to address. Um, if the power goes out, if the phone lines are down, if your cell phone does, doesn't work, how do we communicate and make requests um, and reports to the State Emergency Operations Center in Carson City and to uh, the, the uh, Joint Communications Center in Vegas? Well, we six have successfully done that. Thank God for ham radio operators. Um, we, have, we have, as we talk right now, they have direct contact with Carson City and with Vegas um, through our ham radio operators, so we know that we can do it. What we're going to do today is we're working with the National Guard, and we're going to do a point of distribution for, for goods. So if you have a lot of people that are, that are moving, we'd run out of supplies in a relatively quick hurry. So how do you get food, water, everything that you need to get by, sanitation supplies, how do you get that to the people? That's what this is about today. These guys have the capability of moving a lot of goods pretty quick, and they can be supplied either from ground shipments or from aerial shipments. As far as the communication is concerned, how do you guys intend upon communicating emergency information to the public? Um, we did that a year ago uh, when we had a uh, cell phone outage, and um, it seemed to work pretty good. In the future, what we're hoping to do is um, we've already picked the spots, um, 160 in, in Homestead, uh, 160 and 372, 160 in Basin, and 160 in at uh, Mesquite. Um, we can get our ham radio operators at those locations and be able to work with the sheriff's department and the fire department to be able to, when people have concerns, that'll be our backup plan. It's not a perfect plan, but at least you know you have some place that you can go to to get help. And W7 LAT are mobile headed towards the training site. This is the drill, this is the drill, this is K7KH, clear. W7NYE, Roger Cobby. This is the drill, k 6 ilh And there are several new businesses coming to town. Sally Beauty Supply just put up their sign in the Walmart parking lot. Here is County Commissioner Dan Chinhuffin to talk about some of the other projects. We have so much going on. These companies want to site here and we're happy wherever they are, wherever they're most needed in whatever part of the county or town and we're happy to have those as additions on the north side. It's going to um, be a big plus for a lot of people here in the community to be able to go just down to the corner market. Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. There's one on the south side by Gamebird and Homestead so we don't have to go up to the highway and over to Albertsons if we need a little items. And Any other businesses coming to town? Uh, a lot. We've had a lot of uh, a lot of inquiries, we're, we're working, uh, uh, our staff is great. Stay tuned to News 46. After this break, we'll have even more local news, including the latest Board of County Commissioner's decision.